Brothers and sisters, Melon, what's going on? This brother Wisdom. Just want to do a quick video with you guys about who we are as people of Melanin. Um, I want to name this radioactive beings. All right, we people of Melanin who are radioactive beings. Um, our bodies are we were created by the planet. That's why we've been feared this re this religion. Some of we were made by God. No, we were created by the planet. Every element that's within our body is in our planet. Plutonium, uranium, zinc, iron, aluminum, copper, gold, you name it. It's within our bodies. I just want to pinpoint some of the um, more important uh, elements um, real quick. Nothing, nothing long at all. Um, the importance of us tapping into our inner self is becoming, learning to becoming one with ourself and learning our bodies. I myself must abide by my teachings with myself and my families, even though I fall off sometime and we, you know, stray off and, you know, dab and dab and little, little this, little that, you know, candies and, you know, different things. But um, we must understand that we are nature. We, people of melanin, have an element within us called radon. Radon is a colorless, odorless element that is the basis of radiation. Okay? That's one thing we have to understand. We are radioactive beings. We get, we, we charge up our different levels of radiation by going to different sources, okay? This is why these orcs have a need to want to feed us out of the balance of our bodies by feeding us meats and, and fish and all these different things because we're not supposed to be eating those. We're supposed to eat everything that is elemental, that contains the elements of life, which everything that, that we eat that is elemental comes from the planet. Okay, um, our energies that we receive comes from the celestial bodies. All right, so we being radioactive beings, we must eat nature. You know, like I talked about how the spinach has zinc and platinum and silver in it. You know, that feeds us. Those are organic metals that feed us. Okay, but I want to talk about we radioactive beings. So. The radon that's within us, the plutonium that's within us, the uranium that's within us, are all designed to um, make us more powerful. These orc beings will want to have a need to make us less powerful by depending on a um, diet that they want to prescribe to us that is going to cause us to be less powerful than what we're supposed to be. That's why it's important to the things that we eat. A lot of people say, I gotta, I gotta eat meat, gotta eat. No, you don't have to eat meat because we're radioactive beings. Location, Western Australia, class, moderate magnitude, 5.1, depth, 10 kilometers, 11 minutes ago. Nature's moving. So I wanna quickly talk with you guys. Uh, um, I'm not gonna make this long at all. Um, we who are radioactive beings, I wanna talk about the list of radioactive foods. Um, that's gonna that's gonna uh, cause us to become even more powerful. The more we eat this, the more radiation that we get. Now, we get uh, gamma radiation when we go into meditation from the cosmos. Cosmos feeds us gamma radiation. All right, our sun feeds us photon radiation. Our moon feeds us plasma radiation. Okay, so. Um, as we go into meditation, that's why these beings want to hide the sun and the moon from us. We have to understand why they're doing these things because they know the different radiations that feed our bodies. Our sun is closer. Our moon is closer. The cosmos is closer to us. And these beings will want to fight against us. Okay. So let's talk about this uh, real quick. I got to go. Uh, radioactive foods. Uh, Brazilian nuts. High in, high, very high in radiation. Butter beans, bananas, potatoes. Remember I talked about how potatoes have, uh, 
of uranium. Your uh, bananas have uh, potassium, which is a very radioactive uh, element. Okay. Um, carrots. Location, Western Australia, class, moderate magnitude, 5.1, depth, 10 kilometers, 12 Let's minutes ago. Hey, hey, it's time for us to rise, guys. You see nature's rising. Carrots contain beta carotene, which is highly radioactive. Avocados, water, peanut butter, okay? Also on the list is beer. And it's not the beer that's radioactive. It's the hops in the beer. The hops are, are, are flower, uh, bitter tasting flowers that's in the beer. That It's not the beer, it's the hops that are in the beer that's radioactive. So we who are radioactive beings, we must understand the power that we have within us. And we must begin to eat the radiation. All right? We must get into eat these these different types and look up and search different types of food that are high in radiation, you know, so that we may become more powerful so that we can exert this energy and power because this is what we ate before we were introduced to meat. We ate nothing but nature. We ate everything that fed the elements in our body because we're elemental beings. Okay, so highly important. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I got to go. I don't have much time. Um. I want. I need you guys to really focus on um, building ourselves up, um, and this is all about about building our bodies, these melanin bodies, these complex bodies that we live in. All right, and it's believe me, it takes more than one session to talk about how melanin, how powerful we are. But we are highly radioactive beings, and we must feed our bodies different levels of radiation in order to become more powerful and the science of who we are so that we can war for our planet, war for our people, so we can go to war and take care of these orc beings. All right? Their bodies cannot, can, cannot stand the radiation. Their bodies will literally explode in high levels of radiation. So let's go ahead and send that radiation into them while they try to hide our sun and our moon from us. They can't hide the cosmos, but they can hide the sun and the moon because photon energy Photon radiation, plasma radiation from the moon plays a very big role. Okay? That's about all I got right now for, for you guys. Um, I'll catch you guys a little later. All power to the motor shock people. Mel and peace to you all.